Hi there, welcome back to the next video. And in this video, we will see the set identifiers. So set ident identifiers basically identify what kind of selection that you are making and based on the value that you are specifying within the set analysis, you will see the change into the output. So the one here indicates it represents the full set of all the records in the application irrespective of any selection made. That means whatever selection that you have in the set analysis or for the chart, if you have specified one instead of dollar, then no selection impact will be made on the chart. We will see it in the uh, next slide how you can specify it but be with me with what we can what are the values different values that we can have in the uh, as a set identifier second is dollar representing the records of current selection so the set expression dollar is thus equivalent to not stating a set expression so it's basically saying it's a default uh, way of how set analysis basically picks up the identifier even if you don't specify anything like one or dollar the dollar will be assumed by default and whatever selection that you are making along with the set expressions that you have uh, stated in your set analysis it will make an impact based on your selection the third is the dollar one it represents the previous selection so the value that your chart will show you the previous selected value dollar two select the previous uh, previous selection but one and so on and so forth then you have dollar underscore one it represents the next forward selection dollar underscore two represents the next selection but one and so on and finally what you have is b zero one which is basically your bookmark the bookmark that you can specify within the click sense so you can use the bookmark id to keep it as a identifier so that it will show you the value based on the uh, you know selections that you have stored within the bookmark all right so now let's see the example i know initially it will be a bit confusing but let's see examples so what do we have is, over here is just a very straightforward sum and within the curly brackets you have one and sales it returns the total sales for the application or you can say the data that you have within the application disregarding current selections but not the dimension so what it means is whatever selections that you are making uh, in the front end it will disregard that but if you have specified any dimension it will pick up that uh, from the chart second is the sum of dollar sales uh, so it basically returns the sales for the current selection and as i mentioned even if you don't specify the dollar over here it will by default pick up the uh, dollar and as you can see it's same as specifying sum of sales third thing is sum of dollar one sales returns the sales for previous selections. So for example, if you are keep on making the selection, say first you made a selection on furniture, then you made a selection on technology, then you made a selection on the uh, something else, then it will only show you uh, whatever the last selection that you make. So if you have to do some sort of analysis where you want to have the current selection as well as the last selection, you can always uh, use it dollar one to identify what is last selection. Similarly, you have bm01 the bookmark which basically returns the sales for the bookmark uh, name bm01 so as you as you know the bookmark is based on the lot of selections that you have already made and you want have saved it and you want to use that saved selections and use it into your uh, chart then you can basically take it the this advantage of this bookmark and use it I will show you uh, in the next videos about how uh, you can basically apply all of these and uh, we will see it everything in action. So stay tuned with me and this is just uh, the introduction of your set identifiers with some set identifier example and uh, yeah we will see it uh, the practical example in the next videos.